What if the most dangerous tech wasn't hidden in secret labs, but available with just a few clicks? Some gadgets are so powerful or so risky that governments have banned them outright. Yet shockingly, many of these devices are still being sold on Amazon. From data stealing tools to signal disruptors, these gadgets push the boundaries of innovation and legality. Today, we'll uncover the banned tech devices that remain up for grabs. Why were they banned and should they be accessible? Let's find out. Wi-Fi Pineapple The Wi-Fi Pineapple is a small device used to attack wireless networks. It was first made for security experts to test network safety and find weak points, but it has also become popular with hackers. This tool can be used to study networks, find security issues, and even break into them. This device can watch and record internet traffic. It can see what data is being sent and received, helping to find security problems. It can also be used to secretly place itself between a user and the internet connection. This allows it to change or steal information without the user knowing. The small size makes it easy to carry and hide. This makes it useful for people testing network security. But it also makes it dangerous in the wrong hands. People can use it to steal passwords, personal details, and private messages. Because of its ability to break into networks and take sensitive information, this device is banned in many places. Authorities have restricted its sale and use to prevent illegal activities and protect network safety. Proxmark 3 the Proxmark 3 is a device that can copy RFID cards. Security researchers use it to study how RFID systems work, but hackers also find it useful. It can copy, read, and interact with different RFID cards, making it a powerful tool. It was originally made for testing security, but people can also use it in illegal ways. This device can copy many types of RFID cards, including key cards and access badges. It helps experts test the security of RFID systems to find weak points and improve protection. It also works with different types of RFID technology, making it useful in many situations. The ability to copy security cards can allow unauthorized entry into places that should be protected. This creates a serious risk of fraud and illegal access to buildings or personal information. Because of these risks, many places have banned Proxmark 3 to prevent it from being misused. The ability to copy secure RFID cards makes it a potential threat to both businesses and individuals, leading to strict rules on its use. Mini Bluetooth Keyboard The Fosmon Mini Bluetooth Keyboard is a compact wireless keyboard that makes typing easier on different devices. It is light and easy to carry, making it useful for people who need a keyboard they can take anywhere. It works well with mobile devices, allowing users to type comfortably without needing a large traditional keyboard. This keyboard connects wirelessly through Bluetooth, so there is no need for cables. It can be used with smartphones, tablets, smart TVs, and other devices. Because it works with many different devices, it can be useful in different situations. Even though this keyboard is made for simple and helpful tasks, it has been linked to cybersecurity concerns. Some people use it to gain access to devices without permission. Because it is small and does not need wires, it can be used in ways that bypass security systems. This has made it a concern for cybersecurity experts. Clipper Zero A tiny device that can control many digital systems. It works like a universal remote, allowing it to interact with different types of signals. It can read and send signals used by key cards, contactless payment systems, and other electronic devices. This makes it useful for people who enjoy working with technology. Its small size makes it easy to carry. It can be used with a variety of devices, including televisions and security systems. The device can copy and replay signals, which allows it to interact with many electronic systems. It is designed to work with NFC and RFID signals, as well as other types of wireless communication. This device is not allowed in some places because it can be misused. It can access electronic systems in ways that were not intended, which can cause security problems. Since it can interact with different signals, it might be used to control devices without permission. While it was created for technology research, concerns about its possible risks have made it a restricted item in certain regions. Hack RF1 The Hack RF1 is a device that can both send and receive radio signals. It is a software-defined radio, meaning it can work with different types of wireless signals. The device supports a wide range of frequencies, making it useful for many purposes. It was originally made for hobbyists and researchers who study wireless communication. People use it to test, develop, and improve radio technology. Because it is open source, users can change its design and functions to fit their needs. Many in the technology field find it helpful because of its flexibility. This device works with a large range of frequencies, making it useful for different projects. 
Since it is open source, anyone can modify and improve its performance. It is used in research, development, and testing of wireless systems. It can capture and send a wide variety of signals, which raises concerns. Some people use it to interfere with radio communications, which can affect safety and privacy. The Doubter Watch The Doubter Watch is a portable device that can block Wi-Fi connections. It works by sending signals that force devices to disconnect from a network. This gadget looks like a wristwatch and is easy to carry. It was originally made for learning and testing network security, but people can use it to cause problems by cutting off internet access. This watch can stop devices from staying connected to Wi-Fi. It does this by sending special signals that break the connection. Because it is worn on the wrist, it is easy to use without drawing attention. The watch can also be changed to perform different types of network attacks, making it a flexible tool for those who know how to program it. This gadget is banned because it can interrupt Wi-Fi signals. This can stop people from using the internet at home, in businesses, and in public places. It can cause serious problems by making networks unusable. Since it can block access to important services, it is considered a risk. Even though it was made for learning purposes, its ability to interfere with internet connections has led to restrictions on its sale. GSM Jammer It is a device that blocks mobile phone signals, making it impossible to make calls, send messages, or use data services within a certain area. It works by interfering with the signals that connect phones to cell towers. This device is small and easy to carry, allowing it to be used discreetly. Its range depends on its strength, with some models covering a small space and others affecting a wider area. GSM jammers are banned in many countries because they can stop important communication. Blocking all phone signals can prevent people from calling for help in emergencies. This can put lives at risk by disrupting emergency services, hospitals, and other essential communication systems. Due to these safety concerns, governments have made it illegal to use, buy, or use these devices in many parts of the world. And that's a wrap on some of the wildest banned gadgets you can still find on Amazon. Some of these are fascinating, while others are downright dangerous. What do you think? Should these be available to everyone? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more.